going to end well for these guys. No, it's it's really not. It's really not. All right, let's uh, let's move to the last topic of the day, and and that is, so now what? Uh, Harbaugh and Ryan Day came out today with statements, basically against what their presidents voted on, and that to me was incredibly telling. Uh, they they were both in support of playing, and the presidents, according to the the report that we got, both the presidents at Ohio State and Michigan came out and said, no, we don't think we should play. The only two that voted yes to playing were Iowa and Nebraska. Like, that is not what you would have thought initially. But that's what I would have thought. So, Scott Frost came out and said, uh, Nebraska and their administration are ready to play with or without the Big Ten. So, there was a lot of movement today. If we don't play, what are the chances that Nebraska claims a uh, Big Ten title? Uh, pretty high, I would think. <laughs> we wanted to play. You didn't. You all forfeit. You all forfeit. We went undefeated we were there. in 2020. Uh, uh, Matt Miller said, every coach and player wants to play. I heard a report, though, that the presidents uh, never voted. So I heard that report as well, but I think basically it was an unofficial vote yeah, over no, the weekend. Defined voting. They all went around on a Zoom call and said, I don't think we should. I don't think we should. I don't think we should. I think we should. I think we should. I don't think we should. Yeah. And, and then we ended the call. That's a vote, man. We're not talking about like parliamentary procedures and nobody seconded it and everybody raised their yeah. hand and said I. It was it was an official or it's it, it was an unofficial vote, and that's where the support stood as of Sunday. Now tonight, six PM, they're supposed to be meeting and they're supposed to have an official vote. And I mean, it's gonna take a lot to switch five of those guys over to make it any kind they're of a stalemate. Switching. And I they're don't not think they switching. are. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna switch. But that's what I'm saying is You've got the coaches and the ADs and everything else that are coming out and saying, yo, we want to play. Like, we want to get this done. We think we can do this. And giving the reasons behind it. Trevor Lawrence has been more of a leader than any of these fools that have come out and said anything in the past three days. Trevor Lawrence was, and and don't get me wrong, I'm not a massive Trevor Lawrence fan, but I've got a hell of a lot more respect for him right now than I ever did before. I mean, he came out and basically took charge. He is like the president of this player movement, and it is insane. I mean, yes, we have talked forever about everybody listening to the players and them having a voice at the table. We brought this up weeks ago. Like, why in the world has nobody talked to them about whether or not they want to play? Every player has the right to opt out. Every player has the right to opt out and keep their scholarship. Like, what in the world are we doing here? Like well, and here's the thing about some of these football players, too. They have access to something most people don't. They're going to get a physical every year. They're going to get blood work done every year. And so if they have some underlying cause sitting around that's sitting dormant in their body that would cause this to be very dangerous, like some autoimmune disease or something of that nature, they know about it. Yeah. They're going to find out, and then they're going to get information and be able to opt out and then protect themselves extra when they're going out. The general population of the world, they don't have that. Most people don't just randomly go get themselves physicals and blood work done all the time. These guys get it every year. They have to. Yeah. Um, one of the interesting things, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about the uh, the heart condition, the heart issue and whatnot from Brady Feeney, who is the offensive lineman from – uh, Indiana. Well, Alabama's director of sports science, who is Matt Ray, the kid from or the the coach that just came from Indiana, uh, he came out today and said, "Look, this is nothing new here. Like regarding the heart issues that COVID may cause, uh, he's his name's Dr. Matt Ray, and he's not an expert on COVID, but he does have experience discussing that hot topic um, that makes all these power brokers nervous, right? Because that's apparently what the big thing was over the weekend was." Oh, well, now there might be a a heart issue. The topic is myocarditis. It is an issue that affects the heart that can occur after a person contracts a virus, bacteria, parasite, or fungi. Uh, While most college administrators have reportedly uh, reportedly been concerned with the issue, according to Dr. Ray, he says this issue is nothing new. One thing that really irritates me about COVID paranoia is the apparent thought that we know nothing about how the body responds to viruses. We do. And there's a lot of people much smarter than me working in this area, he said on Sunday evening. Uh, Dr. Ray then followed that comment with another. Now, all of a sudden, myocarditis is an unknown possibility? He said, I alluded to it in a paper I published in 2009 about sudden cardiac death among athletes. 
It happens after most infections. We watch for warning signs all the time. Screening now is very good. There is nothing new here. And then he offered a follow-up and said, sorry, I got a text from a cardiologist friend of mine suggesting that I reword that. Myocarditis may be caused by most viral infections, but it is extremely rare. I mean, what are, what are we doing here? Like, we're, we're talking about things that, that other people are smart enough to know about, and yet we're trying to make decisions on things that, that we don't know anything about. We have to talking make this thing scarier presidents. than it already is. That's what drives me nuts, and, and that's, that's all the we're media. Doing. We're just trying to make it more... S- we get it. We're taking it serious. We're not flipping about this thing at all. We wear our masks. We want other people to wear the damn mask, and, and, we, and we're staying away from each other, and we're trying to do things the right way. Yeah, there's but a reason that we're do doing things this the right way and yeah. not live in a closet. Yeah, uh, Matt Miller jumps in. Flu can also cause myocarditis. Yeah, absolutely. Well, any, the, I mean, the, the, any the virus says any viral infection can do it. So it's not just a flu. Uh, Matt Miller said, I think he will probably be the head of the new college football association. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. He's a director of sports science. He ain't, he ain't that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it, we're, we're making decisions with, not having any real understanding of exactly what the hell is going on because people are reading Sports Illustrated and they're reading Yahoo Sports and they're reading ESPN and CBS and what like they're not actually doing the research and I understand that they have got their medical advisors and all that I get that oh Trevor Lawrence there we go Matt Miller uh, he said yeah Trevor Lawrence would be the head of the the College Football Players Association it, the issue is that he'll be in the NFL by the time that thing gets rolling so. It'll, we'll have a different leader every time, but he has done a really, really fantastic job with this. Trevor Lawrence has. Uh, it's this whole thing has had me so fired up, so fired up. Uh, and I, we're not going to talk about anything else today. Like this has just been a whirlwind of a weekend. Obviously, there was a lot of great stuff that happened in sports over the weekend, and college football ended up trumping everything. I mean, it it just became the biggest topic. Uh, we. I mean, we've had our biggest number of viewers today in several months. So we do appreciate everybody that dove in here and uh, and listened to us. Um, Matt's, <laughs> I don't know if I believe that. Matt Miller said it will end November 5th. I'm, I'm not a hoaxer. I don't buy that. I think it is possible that people are using no, this think, for political I think the virus games. Is real. Okay? Yes. I, I genuinely believe the virus is real. Yeah. Okay. But I also believe that people can use it for political gain, even Maybe if Maybe I real. got got, but yeah. Yeah, I I think both can be right. I think, and now people manipulate it. Yes, and people make it something that benefits them. And here's the thing: like, I I almost want to give some of the media guys a pass. They're doing a job. Their mandate is bring clicks, bring viewership to the website, to your yeah. news, whatever it is, to your magazine, and they're doing it. They're doing a really good job at it. it, it the, our problem has to be with the system. Our problem has to be with why things of that nature bring us there. Why does outrage the only thing that makes us click? And every, we've talked about this over and over again. I get so frustrated because I like the good stories. I like the positive stories, but I'm seem to be the minority because when, I mean, Clay Travis talks about, he'll literally show you the numbers. They do a positive story about some kid with cancer getting to do this great, sweet thing. And it gets eh, that much. And then they do something about some football player's hot mom, and it, like, blows up their yeah. servers. Quadruples it's just like, the numbers. what the hell, man? Uh, the reason we get trash is because people are watching trash. And, and you're free to watch whatever the hell you want. But it just makes it really hard for anybody who wants to live in the middle. Yes, no, you are exactly right. Uh, by the way, Paula Levine tweeted out, heart issue linked to COVID-19 fuels Power 5 concern. Medical sources say at least five Big Ten athletes and other athletes in the Power 5 have been found to have post-COVID heart issues. And so that's what we just talked about, of course, with Matt Ray, with all the uh, myocarditis, et cetera. Um, and that's not, we're not flipping about that. Yeah, we're, this, we're not this is saying. not something to take lightly. Yeah, we're not questioning the severity. Be safe. We think they are safer in the football world than not in the football world. Yes. That's the if heart disease is affected, if your heart is affected by COVID now, not just your lungs, then it's even more important to stay away from it. And so if you're going to go back out into the world or you can be in this bubble of a world, which football always is on, on school campuses, especially during football season, that, that's just naturally a safer place. Yes, it 100% is. Absolutely is. 
Uh, Matt Miller said, no, I think the virus is real, but it's been manipulated. Uh, and then finally, breaking news. Mountain West cancels fall football season because of COVID player healthy and safety concerns. Sources tell Stadium the league will consider playing in the spring. Mountain West and the MAC are the first two FBS leagues opting not to play, bringing the total to 26 FBS programs. So that includes Boise State and Fresno State and Colorado State, et cetera. Colorado State was already having problems, and we hadn't even gotten to dive into that. We we might can hit on that tomorrow, but, I mean, good gracious. I want some answers before I kill my boy. Oh, I, we, I ain't trying to kill him. I was, I was, now, if I, I know, hang on now. If we get the answers, he needs to be killed. But yeah, if, if, if that stuff ends up being real, but the, I mean, the stuff coming out from the actual players that are in there, I mean, they, there's not a single player that's actually stood up and said anything bad. Who are they investigating? Anyway, let's get out of here. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Presidents, do your job. Yes. Do, do a job. job. Do any job. Just do a job. Like it, it, for the love of God, liability includes the general student population, not just the football players. You you wear a suit God. and you and you got your hand out and you ask for money. Yeah. And then you make sure the grades are good. You make sure your academia world it's listen, that's not a world that I'm good at. Okay. It's not a world I'm in. I have a diploma. I cheated my ass off to get it. But I made a commitment to my mom that I would get one, and I didn't know how to get one without cheating, so I did. But it doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not an academic, all right? I'm never going to learn anything from a book, all right? It's just not, this is not who I am. I'm a productive member of society. I'm a good taxpayer. So there, yep. I made something of myself. There you go. Uh, Do a job. Michael Do Fritz, a real job. Michael Fritz closes us out. He said, thanks for giving us a place to vent, fellas. I think we all care about safety, but I think it's been said before, sports are far more than what goes on just between the lines. Um, Matt Miller said, take Boise Fresno and put them in the Super Conference. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, but, yeah. I'd take what, Boise. Come on. Yeah, 100%. What I Michael know, said, though. Fresno. What, what anybody, Michael, go ahead. I wouldn't let anybody not come. I wouldn't yeah. say, no, you're not good enough. You don't belong. <laughs> well, I mean, the, the biggest thing is it's you, you got to be able to have the – the funding you got to have, you know, yeah. oh, you, you got to be able pay to pay bills. Yeah, you got to be able. To but pay I bills. think there's going to be enough money to be made where even even the little guys could come in and make some money and be fine. Uh, Damien said, "If I didn't care for mental health, I wouldn't be saying uh, about the athletes not risking their lives by having sports. Instead, I would want sports to happen to see the athletes waste their lives to get injured. I don't, I don't think that fully made sense, but I get what he's saying. I got, I know. Uh, no, he I said, think, in I a think game, Damien has mean a good heart. Thing. Damien, Damien wants the right things. Yeah, it, it, we just see the world differently, and that's okay." Yeah, it's that's hundred percent right. Hundred percent right. right. Yeah. No. It, it, Dame, Damien said it's uh, it's a game that doesn't mean a damn thing, uh, and yeah. I would venture to say it actually means a whole lot more to these players than you think it does. Uh, and well, it's so not it just doesn't mean anything to you and me. It ruins my Saturday. Okay. That's that's the gist of not it. Last right? year, I'm driving crazy, <laughs> but but like I have mental health issues because of this. Sure. Okay. Whatever. I got, whatever. I got I got issues all down. It's all right. These players going home is not safe for them. Yeah. Going home is not. Oh, hang on. It's not safer than school. Well, how about this? It, it's not even safer just going back into the general population. It is safer to be in that football building, to be going to those practices, to have some kind of incentive for something to work towards. That is yeah. what is safer for them. Purpose like, in life that you can be be safe with. So that's the issue. So I actually do care about the players. And, it, yes. and I get something out of that caring. That's good. But even if I didn't, I, I, it's still the right thing. Yes, it's 100% the right thing. Like, we are going to have high school football in all of these SEC states, and and there's a possibility we're not going to have college football. That just doesn't make any sense to me. It does, doesn't make any sense at all. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and close out of this. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, we, we got to vent for about an hour today. We appreciate all of you tuning in. You have been fantastic. If you like the show, share it out. Tell your buddies about it. Come on back with us. We'll be back here again tomorrow. We're doing the same damn thing. Go over to sbrpicks.com. That's where all of our college football coverage for the season will be so long as we have a college football season. We do have several videos up there right now talking about coaches against the spread, et cetera, et cetera, different uh, circumstances. But go check it out, sbrpicks.com. That is sportsbookreview.com. And our website, winningcureseverything.com. All of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, and social media platforms. Make sure you are subscribed everywhere you can be subscribed. Leave a nice five-star review on the podcast. And like I said, share the show out. You guys have been fantastic. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make